order. My name's Kimberly. I'm going to be your nurse for today, okay? Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a quick little assessment, but I'm just going to listen to your chest and your heart, okay? Yep. Okay, so first I just want you to look straight ahead, and I'm just going to look at your chest, and I can tell that it's the contour of it is normal. It's not barrel chested. Um, it's I can tell your rate's normal. No signs also of any um, retractions or anything. It's symmetric. Um, no deformities in the bones of the chest, in the lung, I mean the ribs and everything. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna also make you do is I just want you to turn sideways for me in the chair. And I'm just gonna do some things where I am gonna like place my hands on your back and everything and we'll see the, how you get breathe in and everything, okay? Sit up straight. And I'm gonna just put my hands in a V shape on your back in between your vertebrae. And I'm gonna want you to take a deep breath for me, okay? And I'm just gonna see how symmetric it is, okay? Take a deep breath for me. I'm just looking at how my hands move up and see if it's symmetrical. It is. Um, so that's good. I'm now going to uh, do vocal and tactile primitives on you. I'm just going to place the balls of my hands on your back. And as soon as I place it, I want you to wait just like one second. I want you to say 99 every time I move my hands, okay? Okay. Go. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, and so what I was looking for there is I was just looking for um, to see if the vibration was equal in each side, and it was. So now I'm going to do what we call bronchophony, and I'm just going to take my stethoscope, and I want you, anytime I place it and move it, I want you to um, say 99 for me, and I'm just going to see if it's equal, okay? Okay. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, wait for a second. Go. 99. 99. 99. Okay, good job. So now I want you to turn back to the front. Turn back to the front. Okay, good job. Okay, so now I'm just going to auscultate and listen to your chest, okay? But what I need you to do is at first we're going to take deep breaths and we're going to listen and make sure it's okay. But um, if at any time you feel lightheaded, just let me know and we'll take a little break, okay? Okay. I'll listen to the other side of my stethoscope. listening to each lung field, making sure there's no wheezing, crackles. Okay, just lean forward a little bit for me. Deep breath. And I don't hear any wheezes, crackles, or any um, abnormal breath sounds. Okay, so what I want you to do now is turn back to the side, turn back to the side, and I'm going to just look and see if there's any pulsing areas in your back, um, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called um, chest percussion, and I'm just going to put my hand on your back, and I'm just going to thump over my hand, and I'm going to see if there's any abnormal sounding areas in the back, it's things that we shouldn't hear, like we'll typically hear dull spots and resonance on areas, I'm just going to check on that. And so far, good. Okay, um, so now I want you to turn back. And now I'm just going to listen to like your neck, and then I'm going to start doing more of a cardiac assessment on you, okay? So I'm just going to listen to the neck arteries. Okay, so I want you to hold your breath, and I'm going to listen to the sides, okay? Hold, deep breath. 
down to normal. Okay, good, let go. Now I'm gonna put the diaphragm over the middle of your neck and I want you to uh, just breathe normally. Okay, now I'm gonna just palpate your carotids. Normal, no weak. So the pulses are normal, not weak, not overly bounding or anything. I don't, can you lean back just a little bit? Okay. So I don't see any vein distension. Looks good. No abnormalities. Okay, normal. Um, so now I'm going to listen all over your heart. And I'm going to actually listen to four areas in your heart, okay? And I'm going to listen with both sides of my stethoscope, okay? Yep. So first I'm going to count down two ribs. One, two. And I'm going to listen to your aortic area. And I'm going to listen on the same side. On the left side, though, and this is going to be your pulmonic. Now I'm going to count down to the fourth area. And this is your tricuspid. And then the fifth rib, mid collarbone, is going to be your mitral. And the rhythm is normal. It's not um, irregular. No signs of like a murmur or anything. I'm not hearing any extra beats or clicks. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stopwatch and I'm going to count your heart rate for a minute. And I'm going to do it in the fifth intercostal space, mid-clavicular line. And this is going to be your apical pulse, okay? So I'm going to count down five spots. One, two, three, four, five, mid-clavicular line. And I'm going to put my stethoscope here. Okay, so your apical pulse was 85, and that's normal for you. You're 10 years old. Um, it was regular, um, no sign. It was not um, tachycardic, which is very fast, or it was not bradycardic, which is very low. So I also forgot to listen with my other side of my stethoscope on the five, uh, four areas of your heart, so I'm just going to do that again, okay? Okay, and that sounds good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at your, heart, your fingernails. And your fingernails are pink. Um, no signs of discoloration. Your nails are actually cut really well. No clubbing. Check your cap refill. I'm just going to press down on your fingernail and see how long it takes to come the color back in. And it is less than four seconds, less than three seconds. Actually, it's very fast. So that shows that the perfusion is good into your hands, okay? Um, so now what I'm going to do is I want you to hold your hand above your uh, head. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do the Allen test, okay? So I just want you to let it stay there for a little bit. We're going to let the um, blood kind of come out of it a little bit. And what I'm going to do is in a second I'm going to kind of uh, push on your radial and your ulnar, uh, ulnar, um, 
arteries, I'm going to occlude them, and then I'm going to count to 30, and then I'm going to let one go, the ulnar, and I'm going to see um, the blood come back into your hand, okay? So just give it a second. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to occlude it for 30 seconds. I'll wait 30 seconds. You can have your hand in a fist for me. Do I have to do that? Okay, so now I want you to let go of your hand and then I'll let go of your own. Feel the blood come back into your hand. Can you feel it? Okay. Um, <coughs> so now what I need to do is. Um, good. The rate was good. No signs of murmurs. Uh, so now we're going to actually come over here and I'm going to listen to your heart some more. Okay. Um, <laughs> you just scoot over for a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to your heart again because sometimes when we're laying down, it sounds different. Sounds good. I'm just gonna listen to my other side. This is your aortic area, your pulmonic. We're gonna count down two more spots. Now we're in your tricuspid, and now your mitral. Okay. So remember now, I need you to turn on your side, your left side, and I'm just going to try to see if you have any extra, come down just a little bit more. I don't know, your legs hurt from earlier. And now, lay down again. We're going to see if you have any extra um, little beats in your heart, okay? So we're just going to check for if you have an S3 or S4. And actually, we're going to listen with the bell. I don't hear an S3 or an S4. So now I'm going to listen with the diaphragm and I'm going to see if you had like any mitral valve regurg or any aortic regurg. And I don't hear anything there. Okay, so now I need you to sit back up for me and I'm just going to check your pulses, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to Feel underneath your arm, under here, underneath your big muscle, and we're going to check the brachial. Oh, don't flex. Don't flex. <laughs> and that's fine. Now it's not bounding. It's just normal. It's not weak or anything. Now I'm going to check your radial. And that's good. Um, so now I want you to lay your leg up here. And I'm going to do your popliteal behind your knee. And it is normal. Um, post tibial is behind your ankle kind of area. There's good. And now your dorsalis pedis. Okay, and I'm also going to just check for signs of edema. I'm going to just push into your feet and your legs and see if there's any, like, pitting edema. There's none. Look fine. Um, feet are taller good, so it looks like you have good perfusion. And that is it. Sound good? Okay, and we're done, Brooklyn. It was filmed by me. <laughs>